you have the restream? I think Key. I did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, that's great. Yeah. Okay. Looks and sounds good. Yeah. All should be in order. I'm promoting it on yes, various let's Discord do servers. That. Let's throw it on onto yeah. some Discord instances. And I should tweet it out. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Feel free to do so, then I will retweet. Um Da, 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 da. Twitch, your stream. There we go. And let me paste it. And here we go, I guess. Here we go. All right. <laughs> here we go. Ah. <laughs> now, now on the Mario. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, um, so, and let's paste it to some forks. And there it is, and onto some more discords. <laughs> is this viral marketing? If you go up to people and like, like, yeah, please watch this. Is this considered viral or is this considered like annoying? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm really all excited for this. Uh, okay, oh, we get a first viewer. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, yes. Hey, Nato. Right. Lyrics, darn yeah. it. <laughs> I have no idea what you're uh, talking about, Nato. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, th I think Lurst and uh, Asterisk first uh, meant he's like, I guess he's the first, I don't know, like adventure player on the moon or perhaps <laughs> the first person to the Euro Trash takeover. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Summer, what's the Euro Trash takeover? Uh, this is our ER YouTube Adventure Roundtable stream where we, uh, where us European members of the ER community show off some games. And uh, lately we've been showing off some uh, weird German games with <laughs> our uh, German host here, Philipp, aka Zwiebelgeist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so today we'll be looking at some weird advertisement point and click adventure games uh advertising the beefy sausage brand <laughs> yes so just to mention up front we are not sponsored nor do we get anything from them <laughs> and perhaps uh, uh, i can say up front like um if you want a disgusting experience in your life buy one of those sausages and they're mainly sold at uh, gas stations and have them someone else eat it and then wait for 30 minutes <laughs> no, 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 i'm not talking about like like it, it's just it's it smells terrible i know people are into it it's like this it's like a, a really horrible food for you and everyone knows it and it's like a cult thing and like uh, in the 90s and like around 2000s they had like like really good marketing i guess mm -hmm. but to be honest this stuff doesn't matter if you like the taste or not. It smells disgusting. Just to say that up yeah. front. Because the game is going to be up your face with advertising. Eat the <laughs> sausage. So just to lo uh, let you know that up front. <laughs> yeah, it's also sold here in Belgium. And uh, I did eat it a few times when I yeah. was a kid. Um, and yeah, it, it doesn't smell good. It, it tasted as a kid, it tasted okay, but it's really trash. It is yeah. really Euro trash. So it's very yes, fitting. it's quite fitting. I, I think it's the perfect food if you're like, if you're not the the person who has to drive and you're out and you're like 
oh, uh, perhaps already a little, little drunk, like going out to party, <laughs> and then you're like, oh yeah, let's get some food at the gas station, and you, then you find like there's this pure <laughs> trash sausage thing to eat, and like, oh, it's perfect. I'm so in love with this thing. So, I guess that's the the, the big appeal. Yeah, in those uh, in those circumstances, I can see people loving them. <laughs> yeah, but like again, no food shame. Uh, who am I to tell people what they shall love and shall not love? So, okay. So, um, we're going to play the second beefy game, but there aren't actually three adventure games, but there are three, perhaps more. I don't, uh, I only know of those three uh, DOS games that came out and were like made for slash sponsored by beefy. And I'm going to show you part one and three, like really, really short. Just to let you know, they're something completely different. And um, I think the fir first one is, yeah, the first one is called a Snack Zone. Right? So I'm just going to start. <laughs> and I think this art department thing, they produced quite some, like, uh, 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 some shareware. And, um, yeah. Real Let's motion. enter the Snack Zone. Sprite scroll system. <laughs> oh, I hope. It's really loud. I'm not hearing the music. I'm gonna deal with that. Oh, should be good enough if I just turned on the volume of my system. Let's do that. And then I hope you can. Everyone can hear it except me. Okay, I mean, now there's no sound anymore. And this is some weird kind of. It's not a jump and run, it's a walk and run. And what suddenly happened, like this car drove me over and I lost some energy. And I have three bars it's energy, emotion, and snack. Of course, the like three main ingredients for a good jump and run or walk and run. And I can go up to this old grandma, talk to her, and she's like, Oh, young man, could you be so kind and help me across the street? And you can be like, Oh, no, I don't have any time. Or, or like, um, Oh, yeah, of course. And this is basically a walk granny across the street simulator. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Um, I don't really know how to get out of the way of the cars. And like the only thing I know you can do is like walk into streets. But uh, if I'm gonna help the granny, this is not gonna be possible. Um, thank you very much, young man. Here, take these three doubloons, and uh, do take care of them. Don't spend it all at once. And of course, you can go to the kiosk and buy, let's say, a diverse range of products. Which is like <laughs> in your face. And by wow. the way, if you buy anything but like a beefy, he's, he's like, oh, by the way, young man, if you buy three beefy, it's going to help you with the game. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> you can also, um, uh, yeah, let's just buy anything. And he's like, yeah, yeah, buy those three beefies. And um, I, I just want to, when I give one more location a go, if I can find it immediately. Oh yeah, here you find a cat and you can click the cat and she's gonna meow meow. Like this is a German writing of whatever a yeah. cat does. Oh, um, by the way, I'm sorry, like somehow your screen wasn't Ooh. properly visible. Now you're back uh, again. Okay, and you can you can bark at her, be like, wow, wow. Like this is how <laughs> bark bark in German goes. Don't know why. You can meow as well, or you can pet the cat. So, and of course, if Aww. there's a, a, a something in the game, okay, let's pet it. And she's purring. She's going. <sighs> I'm Aww. I'm not too good with purring. And then you can be like walk on or take cat. <laughs> and now you've got a cat in your inventory. And I think we're gonna leave it here. I'm just gonna run over by the car. You're. <laughs> gonna meet a lady and be like oh yeah by the way i'm a cia agent i don't know why like because some of those snack recipes got lost and you're on a special mission to recover them 
let's just leave it there and like this is <laughs> the game and um yeah wow honestly i'm surprised there are even multiple flavors of beefy sausages or even multiple kinds because i, I know the yeah. regular one and the jumbo large ones yeah they're and basically there were yeah. other ones. they're like wrapped in i don't know it's not really bread it's like some weird sticky stuff and there's been this it's almost like a calzone if you really want to like um slap in the face of every italian cook because it's like i don't know it's like it's like soggy bread thing with some sausage stuff inside and some tomato and it's like yeah also, maybe you should show on, on stream what a what a regular beefy sausage actually looks like. So oh, yeah, that's, that's a, a good point, because, but I don't have yeah, any. Yeah, most people who are... Well, I, I guess you can just open up a browser or... A, oh, yeah, 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 a yeah. Good, somewhere. good idea. Because most people who are watching us aren't European, and thus I don't think they know what a, what a beefy sausage is. Oh, yeah, you're, you're totally like. right. By the way, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this stuff is is produced not far away from where I live. Oh yeah, oh. I did. I actually did not know because I'm like totally not not interested in it. But like <laughs> someone, when I played theater somewhere, like uh, like improv, we had an improv show, and someone was like, "Oh yeah, there's uh, the beefy plant," and I'm like, "Wait, what? That's around here? <laughs> what?" Um, wow. But now I know. I knew they were German, but uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had no idea what region they come from or anything. Yeah. Uh, Let's see yeah. if I can do this really fast. Um, bam. Uh, wait. Let's go for a picture from Wikipedia. Zip. Oh, yeah. It's loading. And there you go. And, like, the, <laughs> the upper one is the beefy sausage, and you usually buy it in a... How do you say it? It's basically like a piece of foil. Yeah, it's, it's and you shove it out so you don't touch it because yeah. it's super greasy. So yeah, yeah, there's this foil, and afterwards the foil stinks. So <laughs> <laughs> and the, yeah, and the lower version is the one like that is covered in a bread-like substance. I've never seen those. Those look disgusting. Yeah, it's, I think it's called beefy roll, and those those were highly promoted in the nineties. So okay, that's that right. This will be in the game, I guess. I mean, I, I know I know sausage rolls, but I've never heard of a beefy sausage roll. Yeah, and, and to be like, so again, funny. it's like, it's extremely uh, um, bad food for you. But I, I get the appeal of exactly that. But again, there's so much better, worse food. I don't know how to to say, but like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, but moving on. Um, we get another game, which is Beefy 3. And um, okay, so the first one is like a walking simulator slash it's like a jump and run. And the second one is an adventure. So what will be the, number three? Yeah. The, f the first one seemed a bit like a side scroller, I guess. Yes, um, yes. Number three. So first one is a side scroller. Second yeah. is a point and click. Yeah. Third is a, a first person shooter. Uh, almost. <laughs> and again, we're our friends at the art department. It's a car racer. Why not? <laughs> beefy racer. So see. Oh, you can drive the beefy car. Hmm. I mean, I why know. not? Just drive anything and like. There we go. And it's. I mean, you can collect power ups, which are. Just by coincidence in beefy form, so I mean it's it's a racing game. I suck at racing games, so I just wanted to show that like for really really fast. But they were all over the place in terms of marketing. So yeah, that's what we're getting into with the beefy two computer game. Um, if you want to run this at home, it's no problem. Um, you can run it in DOSBox. The only thing you have to pay attention is this game crashes or like misbehaves if you um, set up a sound blaster card. Mm. Um, I guess it's an incompatibility of this game and DOSBox, but it works fine if you set up an, an AdLib card and the game has no digitized voice nor digitized sound anyway. So there should be 
no differences at all. So you just can go for the um, uh, just for the adlib version. I hope I'll be able to hear the second one because I haven't been able to hear the other two games at yeah. all. Yeah, I mean, otherwise you, I guess you can join the stream. <laughs> yeah, but it's, yeah, that's a bit difficult when we're uh, also in a, a video chat. Uh, I know, I know. I'm thinking how to solve that right now. Well, it's 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 not a big deal, but it would be nice to be yeah. able to hear it. But that kind yeah. of like. I also couldn't really hear, but it also barely had audio, so uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it wasn't mm -hmm. such a big deal then. I don't know if if this game has quality music. I mean, you you said it has you said it has sound, but I'm wondering if it's if it's worth listening to. <laughs> it, it, I would say it's like okay-ish, uh, like uh, music of of the day from back then. Which is like, yeah, just basically some ad lib music. Mm -hmm. It's nothing too special, to be honest. It's okay for what it is. And yeah. yeah. This game came out in ninety four, by the way, so it was at the later end of the of the classic uh, point and click era. Oh yeah, but uh, like just to let you know uh, know up front, oh, wait, uh, this worked so fine, so give me a second here. I'm gonna wait can i do this can i do this really fast no i can't ah. but i have a, an i found an old magazine online oh. uh, where an actual uh, review of this game was taken besides another um advertising game i uh, i told you about which is called victor looms which is like uh, a detective story but mm -hmm. it's still advertisement for a bank and but um the guy who and and the funny thing is with that guy who wrote that um article i've actually made a podcast uh, uh like <laughs> when was it like last summer I, I had an episode and we had him on as a guest and i'm like wait what oh yeah yeah of course i mean he's uh, way in the german uh, he's known in the german uh, gaming journalists of like um late 80s early 90s so and he basically writes like, yeah, it's okay. The advertising is really on the nose and um, basically like an it's okay. And they gave it four rankings. Um, I'm going like in, in, in reverse order, how they mentioned it. Like one is entertainment factor and that's like an okay, like a C. The sound is a, is a four. The graphic is a four, like in, oh, uh, sorry, like a German school grade, like it's an, um, what's it like in a D in, 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 uh, in uh, US American barely grades. Passing or... Yes, yes. Basically, it's like yeah. barely passing in terms of graphics and sound. And um, how do you translate that? Mm, it's ba basically obtrusiveness factor like how on the nose it is and it's like they use the german word ätzend which is like the thing to say in like late 80s and early 90s uh, uh, yeah which basically translates to really lousy so <laughs> be prepared to have some yeah i don't know how to say it better like s sausage in your face it sounds really really wrong so um, <laughs> there will be a lot of mentioning of like uh, salami. So it, it doesn't get better. I'm, I'm just gonna stop here. I'm just gonna 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 start the game. By the way, I'm gonna try to translate everything. Yeah. And see, it's actually it's actually a, an advertisement game for the beefy roll thing. So. Specifically for that thing. Wait, I'm gonna turn your volume up a little bit. So, okay. And you can basically start a new game, continue old game, which is not possible right now. I don't have a save game, and quit game immediately. I don't know why they put the immediately in there, but I guess it's like, get to know what you're getting into. I just heard something and I don't know if that's the game. Yeah. I mean, it's the 
the the type of music reminds me somewhat of Mad TV. Oh yeah, then I'm You don't know that one, but yeah, I do know Mad TV. But yeah. <laughs> but again, it will be nothing special. So, okay, just here we go. So perhaps we can fix it next time. So what I'm gonna do is like here's some options like music on, mouse normal. I guess the other is mm -hmm. fast. I'm going to turn text to slow. Because I mm -hmm. think you can click through the dialogues and that gives me enough time to translate. Because, again, it's in German. Um, mm -hmm. Play movement normal. I'm going to leave it for now. If it, it gets annoying, I guess we can turn it up. Okay, onwards to the game. Oh, that's, that's the movement speed. Uh, yeah, it, it's character. like uh, uh, yeah. movement of player. Uh -huh. It's like yeah, normal. Yeah. Um, what we're getting into is basically some youngsters hanging around, I guess, in like a youth cafe or like just a general cafe. And they're talking about like um, what they did in their uh, basically like school holidays. Like in, in Germany, you um, it's not as extreme as in France, but you do have how long is it? I think like six weeks of summer vacation. Uh, mm -hmm. So many young people like between 16 and 18, when I remember, went to go for a job like mm -hmm. uh, the, the this the town where I'm from had a had like a um, had a factory and they had some like manufacturing and like manual labor and you could earn like I would say like something like a thousand euros within a month, which was a ton of money as a like yeah. back as a, as a student and many people I know who worked there basically to get their money together to pay for their driver's license. Mm -hmm. Yeah, typical uh, over here as well uh, during the summers doing a summer job for uh, uh, yeah, paying for your driver lessons or whatever. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, that's, and we... that's a typical thing. Yes, and we're gonna basically meet our hero, and he's the guy who's <laughs> telling us all about his job um, as a bike courier, and what happened to him is gonna be the game. So this is like a uh -huh. like a how do you say it's like a prologue which explains what happened, and then everything is a uh, like turning back of time and retelling the whole thing. Flashback, I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah, a flashback. flashback. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. So hey, many lovely you. people are around here. Hi. Hi and welcome. Yeah. Hello, everyone in chat. So here we go. So say, what did you do in the holidays, Luke or Lucas? I'm, and I'm going to stick with German pronunciation of the names. Yeah, do tell. Yeah, I did some. Yeah, I did some work. Oh, yeah, right. Right. Just you, you, you told us a, a even before the holidays, right? How was it? Was it good? Mm. Yeah, just gonna start from the very beginning. Yeah? Yeah, so let's hear it. So I got this job at Rapido Transport. Which, by the way, sounds more like a logistics company. Oh, yes, so you mean the spy courier fast service in the city? Exactly right. What's that? Yeah, it's quite easy. You get in your bike, you drive around all day in the city and you deliver express deliveries. Um, usually you get to meet kind of a lot of interesting people, for example... Agencies and travel agencies. Which, in translation, really sounds stupid. Uh, <laughs> beauty centers, big companies, and of course, film studios. What, really? Yeah, of course. And exactly there, something totally crazy happened to me. Oh, I'm all excited for that. So everything started with a express delivery from a company I won't mention here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That one, more advertisement, advertisement, mentioning of the new product, mentioning of more products. <laughs> exactly. There were like 
just um, starting to make a uh, TV spot for the advertisement on TV. And there has been a change to the script and it had to go to the studio immediately. Say, and you did that? Otherwise I wouldn't know, right? I think he has a point. Right. Okay. So I went on my bike and uh, Im and basically arrived at the studio. Flashback time. Good day, young lady. <laughs> How can I help you? Um, and then you've basically got the the the, the uh, three options, and basically uh, we thought. I'm gonna be the guy who's trying to translate everything, and Summer is gonna. Uh, you're gonna basically be the one who plays, although you don't control my computer, so you're gonna tell me what we're gonna do. So we got three options. Uh, basically, are you blind or are you short sighted? Um, are you the security guy? Uh, young lady? So what shall we choose? The first option. The first option. Are you short sighted? Are you short sighted? No! Oh, I'm not usually. Oh. So why did you. Oh, so why did you call me Young Miss? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. I, um. I can't start that sentence without knowing the rest in the. Oh, I can't really see you because I'm way too tired. And who are you, by the way? I'm from the uh, bicycle messenger agency. I shall deliver something, or I'm a famous actor. <laughs> oh, I want to have the third option. The third option. I'm a famous actor. I'm a famous actor. I'm Sean Connery. Nice try. <laughs> nice try getting in here. <sighs> But that's absolutely um, impossible to get in here. Although you're looking a little bit like Sly Sylvester. <laughs> I'm guessing uh, reference to S Sylvester. Sylvester. I guess so. Like this is gonna be full of like stupid puns, like stupid German puns on movie stars. Um, and we got three options. Uh, don't you like? Um, aren't you overreacting? Yes. Aren't you overreacting a little bit, or like? E extrapolating a little bit like uh, you really mean that or like the star from Ramboski 2 not Rambo but Ramboski 2 so what shall we choose <laughs> uh, second option second option do you really mean that so you really mean that yeah of course the star from Ramboski 2 so it's automatically choosing that anyway yeah, exactly that one! Well, um... Uh, <laughs> flatter... Of course, I'm uh, training with my... Like... Training stuff! <laughs> but so many muscles, like that amount of muscle, I don't have. I never said you had a lot of muscles! I just said, if you had, then you would look like Sly Sylvester. Is that so? Sly, in reality, is like super thin. Exactly like you. But in all of his movies, um... <laughs> oh, it's all a costume. <laughs> <laughs> the tattoos aren't real, uh, they are also not real. It's all fake. Oh, oh, that would have shamed you. But well, uh, why don't you tell me what you actually want around here? So we're back to the two options of I'm from the like bike career service or like I have to deliver something. Which to me sounds like the same. But yeah. Okay, so I shall deliver something here. 
By the way, I like the the animated button. Oh yeah, I remember. Uh, you sh you were supposed to bring the script to the beefy uh at at uh, uh, to the director, right? Yeah, exactly. Here's your infrared clip. Yes, infrared. Infra what? Infrared clip. This one opens automatically, like the doors, when you come near. <laughs> we are quite equipped with modern stuff around here, you know? I don't know if that is infrared. I highly doubt it, but who knows. Why are you yawning all the time, by the way? Do you enjoy your work? Or, oh, well, then I'm off. Maybe ask why he's yawning all the time. Yeah, so why are you yawning all the time? And by the way, uh, see, uh, the, the, the animated cursor actually talks when I'm talking, like the character. Yes. Well, yesterday we had a little bit of a party. Me and the, the boys from the club. This sounds very wrong. In a game about sausages, the... <laughs> Um, uh, you and the boys from the club, what did you actually celebrate? Uh, so it went past 10 p.m. Or, well, I'm off. Uh, maybe ask what they celebrated. Okay, what did you celebrate? Our 40 year anniversary. We are still the hardest club in this city. So, yeah, we are back to you and the guys from the club, or boys from the club. So it went, uh, so it went way past uh, 10 p.m. or I'm off. Yeah, that's any conversation. Okay, so. Well, I'm off. <coughs> yeah, 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 be in your way. <sighs> okay, so let's see. We have six buttons in the game we have look at open take use close and talk to and we have three items right now we got the infrared clip mm -hmm. we get a visitors like ID card and we have the script for the ad there's like a kid yo-yoing there. Yes, we can. Oh yeah. Oh, it, oh, it highlights uh, items, and it says a little boy. Uh huh. Maybe talk. Yes. Uh, let's see what right mouse button does. Is this already? Does it look at or? Yeah. Ah yeah. He's looking at it. I can see nothing at all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess. Generic we can message. Talk to him. Oh, you got a real nice ball. A little kid? Yeah, right. It's really, really pretty. Wanna trade? Trade? I'm all about trading. I love trading. <laughs> so? Yeah. The ball uh, 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 I exchanged with Peter uh, for a um, for a piece of candy. So. Um, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And a piece of candy I exchanged against a poster with Inge. Uh-huh. And the poster? Um, uh, um, uh, uh, I will remember. Uh, oh yeah, Ola had this, uh, like, this small lorry. And uh, she and her brother, they, they exchanged it. Huh? You know Ola? <laughs> no. But her brother. What? Great! Well, well, um... But I guess everybody knows everyone. So, where were we? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, I got a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, yeah, you always do. You? You adults. 
You never take time for the real important stuff in your life. Please don't uh, follow up with this some stupid advertisement. Oh, uh, and what's really important? So do tell me. Uh, a good trade? Uh huh. Uh, perhaps you're right. No one says mein Junge. It's like my boy. <laughs> I'm gonna think about that and my life. So I guess we can exchange whatever we're gonna find with him later on in the game. I'm surprised he doesn't want to pick a sausage. Yeah. But oh, perhaps we're gonna trade something for the ball. I don't know. We will find out. Oh, yo yo. I don't know. Is that a ball? I what? thought it would be a yo-yo too, but it's... Yeah, it, it looks like a yo-yo, not a yeah, ball. I 100% agree, but it's a yo-yo, I guess. Let's walk over. Well, oh I'm yeah, he's ball. like, he's it, bouncing, it's a bouncy ball. And because uh, yeah. to be honest, I thought he would... Um, oh yeah, because yeah, uh, I thought he would like play with a yo-yo, but it's like a slowly animated uh, bouncy ball, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, But now we know what to do when uh, should we ever need a, a yo yo? Uh, a ball. Uh -huh. So, can you get through the gate with your uh, infrared part? I, I guess we can just walk right through here. Let's see. Oh, I, re oh, I just can't walk anywhere. I have to. I have to always click items. Oh, yeah. See, it says like to, mm. to the studio. There's a. How is this thing called? Like this element thing? This bar? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's called like a like the bar here as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So I guess we can go to this. Uh, bar, I guess. Or guess. No one who is not permitted in here can just enter easily. I guess wow, you have okay. to use uh, a correct card. Uh, we can try, but I guess we can just walk walk right through. Let's try a, a clip with a... What for? Like, or why? And the ID card, I guess, doesn't work as well. Uh, yep. What's that supposed to do? Okay. No, I guess we just can click here. Oh, yeah. He's just oh. walking like through. Okay. I guess the game won't be that complicated, because it's like... <laughs> it sh the idea was to have it accessible. I don't know how good the, the puzzles will be. That I don't know, but I guess it won't be like overly complicated. Okay, so we have to the how's this called? Like it's basically the front room. Yeah, it's basically the room if you have a secretary, and she has her oh, own yeah. room. You have to go through that the first, reception. and it's basically like a reception. Yeah. Uh, we have an elevator, and what do we have over here? The VIP lounge. Mm. <laughs> so where should we go? Let's go to the VIP lounge. To the VIP lounge. The, the door won't open. Um, uh, it looked like it was open. Uh, it seems I can't just walk in like that. I mean, we could try the, the, the clip. Oh, but it... Wasn't it like it, it automatically works, right? Uh, let's see. Can I do that with the door? Oh, the infrared clip doesn't fit the slot. So, oh, there's a slot here. Okay. Does a visitor space? I don't know. Nope. Doesn't fit. So I guess there will be... Oh, and by the way, it's not supposed to fit in stuff like that. So I guess this, like, visitor's pass is like something you, like, clip to your... To your clothes to show everyone, mm -hmm. oh, like, yeah. this is a registered person and a visitor and everything's nice. Okay, let's so go to the reception then. All right, let's go there. Aha! The door, so the door automatically opens. Did it slide up to the ceiling? It probably, it probably located my infrared clip. Wow, okay. advanced technology for '94. Yeah. Ooh. Can I help you? Why does he ask? I don't think so. She's actually toggling like that. Oh, oh, I get it. Like she's like, oh, I don't think so. 
fact she's got something in her mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think she's got a like a toothache because she's like holding her side, and that would right. explain like uh, uh, the 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 used accent in the German language they they're using. We're stuffing a beefy sausage into her mouth. Oh, hmm. <laughs> um. Uh, did you hurt yourself? Why are you moaning like that? Or like, like mo. Echtsen is like more like moaning in a very negative way. So there's not really a a, a nice way to echt. So that's always like what old people do when they're like, I, I gotta get up from bed, like oh! complaining. And yeah. Moaning. Yeah. And uh, uh, I've. But I think so, which is, I guess, like an answer to her. I don't think you can help me. <laughs> so what what shall we do? Uh, second option. Second option, like why are you moaning like that? So why are you moaning like that? Like that? I got a toothache. It's, it's disgusting. It's really horrible. Oh, I'm really sorry. By the way, I really wanted to talk to Mr. Director. Schlönstadt, which is just a name. It's really, Im it's an emergency. What's it about? The script of the, in the product name here, advertisement. <laughs> no, that's not possible. And now we have the option of why. Um, Those three words actually all mean why in German. Yeah, that's that's what I figured, yeah. Which is also the beginning of Sesame Street. They uh, There's a kid's choir and they're uh, going uh, der, die, das, which is like the English equivalent of the, the, the. And the next line is wieso, weshalb, warum, which in English means why, why, why. And so like this is this is a very German joke. Which really can't be translated. So, which one shall we take? The second one. The second one. Most uh, unknown. To oh, weshalb? It's. Weshalb. It, I think it sounds a little more posh if you say it. Weshalb? <laughs> so why? Because he, he's not in. But you can give me the script. Uh, you can give me, give me the script like that. It's okay. Oh. Ho, ho. I'm only supposed to uh, give the script um, uh, to him in person. Uh, don't you want to actually see a dentist, or when he'll be? B when will he be back? Don't you want to see a dentist? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so t t why don't you see a dentist? No. Just it, it will be over soon. I hope. Um, yeah, yeah, so yeah. we got still the options A only am allowed to give it to him in person when he will be back and well then I'm gonna wait until he's back. Maybe clarify that you need to give it in person. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm only allowed to give it to him in person. Then you gotta wait. I'm just gonna do the rest. When will he be back? I don't know. <laughs> well, then I guess I have to wait until he's back. Which to me screams... On one hand, perhaps we can help her. And on the other hand, do something else first. Because like, this event didn't happen already. But I actually don't know. But look at that beefy computer. Mmm, with an external drive, it seems. Rawr. Fancy. Yeah. But it seems very uncomfortable to, if that is a keyboard to sit here and then, like, to have your head turned really sideways into the computer. But, ah, oh, really nice. But look at it. Perhaps later. Oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> So what do we have in here? I'm gonna mouse over a little bit. Window. Uh, secretary. Oh, there are scissors. The computer. Uh, drawer. Bookshelf. More bookshelf. 
And we can go outside again to the... Oh, and it is like... How is this called in English? It's like thingamabobs that are just like standing around. It's like knickknacks is the English word. Oh, yeah. Look at the knickknacks. Yes. But I... He's, I, I, I bet you he's gonna be like, oh, what do I know? Like the look at wasn't perhaps later. Why is there even a look at? If it's like, nah, yeah. I'm not gonna do it. Everything's a generic. Message. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can I just open the drawer? Which would be like, really? Just in front of the secretary? Perhaps later. And I guess we even can take the scissors. I don't know what I should, what I would need those scissors for. And it's not like, oh, I shouldn't take them, they're not mine, and like, I don't know what to do with them right now. <laughs> okay. I'm wondering what the receptionist's uh, toothache is caused by, but if it's like a tooth needing to be pulled, yeah. then you could give a beefy sausage, because those are kind of tough. <laughs> like, you have to really bite into them. Yeah. So I can imagine that a thief could be loosened by yeah. Oh sausage. yeah. <laughs> but I, don't, I, I think they won't uh, uh, let anyone see that product with like that negative connotation of like, oh, it's so hard you're gonna bite your teeth out. <laughs> Which I would love, really. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah. I, I tried talking to her again and you, you can ask like, is the director in now? Which seems somewhat ridiculous and like, still got to a toothache. Just come. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, yes. Okay, so this is no use, I guess. Can we open the window? Which would be ridiculous also. And now I really got a fright of heights. <laughs> All of a sudden. By the way, didn't isn't this like still the ground floor? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Why would it be so high up? Well, okay, I mean, we don't know... I guess, oh, wait, can we just walk into there's this a, office? There's an office. Yeah, wait, can we just walk back? Haha, <laughs> let, let's open. I love that the doors open up like like that. It's so stupid. <laughs> no, let's go into the office. No, he's, he says perhaps later. So it's yeah, gonna yeah. be like perhaps later in the game. I guess this location is all done. I mean, we. I don't know how... Like what the, is is this just a door to the outside or like is there more and staircases so per no but it says E which in German says is uh, is for Erdgeschoss which literally means like earth floor like the yeah, floor on the ground yeah. so yeah ground floor yeah so I, but I guess the w like my wild guess and again I haven't played this game before is if we move to the to upstairs. It's gonna be the very same message of like, oh, I, I suddenly am afraid of heights. <laughs> so it's just gonna be for every window. And I mean, I guess that only leaves us to go to the elevator, elevator. right? Yeah. So let's hope for some elevator action. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay. That's where, what Yeah, where should we go to? Uh, let's go to the first floor. First floor. Okay, at least this goes by quickly. It's like no spinning elevator with long time. This, this so floor looks exactly the same, but it's yeah. like a different doors. Yeah. Well, different so, yeah. so there's a technical department. I, I, I really can translate it if I know what kind of technique it is. It's like IT or is it the cutting oh. floor? I, we will find out. Yeah. Um, oh, what's the word? Props. The prop department. Yes. Yeah. And to the... F probably like think tank. Yeah. yeah. And it's in upper K, so we don't know what this means. <laughs> Shall we go in somewhere or should we look at the next floor? Let's go to the technical all right, let's go in there. The door won't open. It seems I can't uh, enter any room with the uh, with the clip I have right now. Okay. 
Just try all the doors then. Yes. Either to the prop department. Time. Nope. Won't open. Same message. And to the think tank. We really have no indication what we should be doing. No. Right now, so all we can do is oh. try doors. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Go into the think tank. Or whatever it's. I guess it's like, <laughs> oh, they're authors and they're writing. I guess it's like. Like a writer's room, I guess. Yeah. Okay. I see nothing too obvious around here besides some guys. There's this um, the blackboard or noteboard, exactly. The author who is bobbing his head like crazy or her head, I don't know. Same with <laughs> that person and that person. And they all have those boards and yeah, I guess that's it. I don't see anything anymore. Try talking with the authors. Yeah, the why not? Too busy or something. He seems to be very busy. Okay. And I guess that one too, and the other one as well. But mm. are, are you looking at them now or actually trying to talk? He's. Oh, you're totally right. He's uh, fully immersed in his work, so uh, talk to him. He doesn't uh, seem to look as he would enjoy any conversation right now. But we can talk. He seems to have a lot of work to do. Okay, I'm gonna try the other two as well. Same message. And I would really guess it's the same for that one here. He yeah. seems to have a can lot you, to do. Can you look at the note boards? Oh, Maybe that's a good idea. Messages. Please don't say perhaps later. <laughs> the like the noteboard is full of messages. Well, that's it. That's not specific. Same message. It's full of messages. Uh, okay, so we can't do anything on this floor then, right now. So let's go to the second floor. Yes. See which rooms there are within. I hope you make a map or like make some notes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got it in my head. Uh, yeah, all right, all right. Uh, then we're good. Well, of course, if we're all going all, up yeah. all seven. Yeah, uh, that's what I fear right now. Yeah. Oh, to the special effects uh, uh, department? Sound effects. Um, uh, effects? Uh, well, how is it called? Uh, um, how is it called? Like. This one is where you go to get uh, made ready for like TV production. Oh, yeah, makeup. Yeah. Makeup. Thank you very much. Oh god. I, 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 I won't tell anyone, but like actually, like some relatives of mine work in in. Like he works in that department. She works in that department. And they're like they've been in quite a lot of famous movies now. It's it's quite oh. cool. cool. And to the recording studio. Okay. Try all the doors. Then. Yes. Let's see. Nope. Won't open. Won't open. They could have solved that. E I mean, in what is it like? Oh, there we can enter. Okay, this is a recording studio. Okay. Oh, with tape decks. There's a mixing. A mixer. Just called a mixer in English. Again, a mixer, a tape deck, Ooh, the cabin, electronic, mm. <laughs> recording devices. I really like how professional it is. Like on one hand, like they have rags and put um, everything nice and, and neat. And on the other side, like the whole building is falling apart. And like, of yeah. course, just run cables across the floor. What could happen? Like. Like, if you know anything about, like, German companies, you know this you will never see. Because there's gonna be, like, a, a guy who's in charge of, like, work security and is gonna be like, Oh, loose cables on the floor. No, 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 no. This won't happen. Yeah, I've heard a lot about how uh, German... Well, I've heard some about those kinds of standards in German mm -hmm. companies. Mm -hmm. And, like, that even the, the furniture layout has to be... Oh yeah! Oh yeah! It's a, it's a very uh, different world 
work uh, place culture like that compared to us. Oh yes, oh yes, totally agree. I mean, to be honest, uh, right now yeah. I, I quite like if I wouldn't do like working from home all the time, I would really benefit from that right now because I have like some back problems. So it's really nice that I have a really good desk at work. But yeah. yeah. But yeah, sometimes like I think like some stuff in Germany sometimes really feels a little overregulated. But on the other hand, like then less accidents happen, which is also nice. So I guess there's no one around here. You can click on the mixer. What it, does he say? Very expensive. Let's just very expensive. Can I use it? Try stealing like, screw it. it up. I have no idea how that stuff works. Okay. And use the tape deck. But I don't know how that stuff here works. And one last time, let's use the speakers to cabin. But I'm not a... Uh, how is it called? Like a dubbing artist? Yeah, voiceover. Voiceover. Basically the guys who... Yeah, who do the voiceovers. Exactly. Yeah. It's voiceover work. You're right. I guess there's nothing to do here either yeah. right now. Yeah. This is this is weird. Like we have no idea what we need to do in the game right now. I 100% agree. I wish they would have gone for the. I think it's Police Quest 4, which I don't like that much to be honest. But they basically, when you go to a floor where there's nothing you can do right now, there's a guy who's like. Uh, there are like guys who are doing a, a indoor shooting training or a guy mopping the floor so there's always a stupid reason so you just can't enter the floor which I think is way better than like oh let's have the player find out and oh my god this floor is just <laughs> what is just super empty oh this is um, actually like the the stage of a, of a shoot L let's find out what's this gonna be Oh my god. No. Oh well, let's try again. That's a Star Trek. I, I can't. I really can't hear it anymore. Darling. Yes, yes. Cameras, cameras rolling. Captain. Yes. We got something on the screen. Well, well. It's an enormous large object and it's uh, coming near you using warp 12. So, is that so? Mm hmm. And it's on full collision course with our ship. Shoot it! Uh. Shouldn't we send something first? Uh. Well. So. Say we're gonna shoot their asses if they don't. If they don't. Uh, Captain? Shouldn't we do that a little bit more diplomatic? That would be way more logic. <sighs> okay. So, send some nice greetings from the Federation, blah blah blah, and ask them what that's supposed to mean. What do you guys say to the... to the foreigners, the erroners? What? So, but it, it didn't look up all the way. Uh, it didn't look upwards. But it's getting time to do that. So look into your device. Yeah, Okura, what's up? The enormous big object which is approaching is not responding. Shoot it! Uh, Captain. Yeah, Mr. Sprots. My device is not re uh, it's not working anymore. Ha! The foreigners must have destroyed it. Uh, could it be a new <sighs> Remulate? 
a, a spaceship or like a Chloe King device just to confuse us uh, seems uh, highly unlogical. It's like a stupid pun. Um, ju uh, uh, Captain, look. Ah! Ooh! Ah! Stop! Well, good so far. The dialogues were quite nice, but the uh, the voiceover has been recorded up front. Sprots, you gotta look way more calm and way more relaxed. And more distant. Well, well. So, let's try again. All the way from the beginning? Yeah, of course. <sighs> Damn. Camera rolling! Captain? Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god, it's repeating all over. Yeah, it's a, it's a blatant Star Trek. Rip. Yeah. And it's making stupid, like, uh, stupid puns with, um, basically, like, there's this stuff. Let me look this up. How is this called in English? It's basically a condiment. Oh, oh, it's called remoulade uh, in, in French as well, like remoulade wasn't sauce. It, wasn't, wasn't it like a Romulan ship? I, right, I but it's, it was a Remulan ship, like, oh. so it was like a stupid pun on the condiment. Okay. Like, everything is like just twisted a little bit. <laughs> They're also like talking about, not about like devices they're using, but um, in German you would say Gerät, which is like device. But they're saying Gerätle, which would be a Swabonian accent, like to make something small um, for a device. It's like a, yeah, it's a dialect thing on device. Which is why I was like, what are they saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, <laughs> got it, got it. It's, a, it's, it's all just stupid puns. Okay, what do we have here? We have the camera, the monitor, the mic, the screen. Oh, and we have uh, um, the next room, which seems to be like a side room. Yeah, I don't think it's even likely that you'll be able to do anything here, so maybe go to yeah. the side room. Yeah, so let's go there. Let's see what we have in here. So here we go, folks. The faster we're done with the scene, the better for everyone. <laughs> oh god. So, you're ready? Um sound recording ready? I'm ready! Camera is ready. On my command, you stop the s you stop the the basically the sound uh, recording or playback with the captain. Th and think about it, you're in the middle of a fight, so always go super hectic and with much much emotions. Well, we can do that. Great. Then I'm gonna be super quiet. Action! Uh, Mr. Scotch! We need more energy toward the shields! Captain, I can't give her much more! <laughs> I'm sorry for the accent. Uh, and who then should protect us from the remolades? From the remolade? <laughs> I'm gonna try, Captain! <laughs> Oh, we got a we got a full frontal hit uh, onto the bridge. Injuries or injured? Not really. <laughs> uh, Yukura uh, fell over and uh, fell against Mr. Sprouts. Uh, Mr. Sprouts fell down and then they rolled down the stairs. Oh my God! This passed as a humor in the nineties. Oh my God. There's two stupid fellas. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! And I'm, I'm bored. Uh, uh, I'm bored to death around here. Zzzt. Quick! Scotch! D 
disable the sniffing sensors. Don't ask me. Is it serious? The Romulans are using their... <sighs> cloaking device. It's not really cloaking, it's like toilet device. <laughs> Smelling sensors are off. Can I do anything else for you? And of course it's a, a like a joke on cloak and cloake, which means toilet. Oh. <laughs> so bring me a, a cup of tea, two pieces of uh, sugar, and, s and a cookie for Mr. Sprouts and a lemonade for Zeki. Who's Zeki? Captain! Yeah, Mr. Scotch. I'm actually doing important stuff right now. Mmm. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, Mr. Scotch. So, uh, f forget about the stuff for Sprouts and Zeki and just bring me some uh, sugar, sugar, um, uh, uh, some like donut things. Aye, aye, sir. Cut! We're done. Great job, folks. Scotch, you were amazing. Thank you very much. Well, did we get everything? Camera was on point. Great. How was the audio recording? Uh, t uh, five out of five. But... But... Um, let's see. The tape reel? Yeah, so. basically the tape reel. Well, uh, it doesn't have to be serious. Uh, so what is it? Yeah. Did you like that? Yeah, 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 I enjoyed it. Will you do me a favor? Would you do us a favor? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Then please uh, bring this uh, tape to the recording booth. Uh, here's the, re the tape reel and please, please be careful with it. Yeah, sure. Thanks, my boy. So the courier just enters that recording room and, and they just suddenly give him the I had tape a reel. <laughs> I had a tape reel from Starship Stupid Pun here. Oh my god, it's a dream come true. So what's so dreamy about that, huh? <laughs> my idol I, oh, I wish I would be as lucky as that. I'm totally into fan fiction. Of course, I'm the nerdy guy. I have glasses, so. <laughs> <sighs> Those guys always, like, man. Um, but what about your Beverly Hill thing with Bob guy? You can't really uh, compare that, I think. So. That's basically like, uh huh. So you gotta gonna make fun of each other later on. But uh, come on, I'm gonna know what happened next. So I went to the to the outside with the folks, I guess from the recording, and they were really in a rush to go home because they were done for the day. I can see that. So, well, um, I thought what I should do next. This game is a weird narrative, like why he's like, it's totally obvious what he had to do and it's like, I thought what I would have to do next. Here, bring this from A to B. I thought what I would have to do next. Mm. Yeah, well, uh, I guess you have to go to the recording booth on yeah. the second level. That would be my suggestion as well to it's, give to the recording. It's just so weird that you just tumble onto that and you sit through that entire cutscene and then suddenly oh you can have this uh, and bring it to the recording booth and then yeah. that's the big story continuation where yeah. you get to see the cutscene in the present time again. I mean I, I can so see him bragging like oh by the way I carried around like this tape of this whatever show it is 
you're loving too so I, I get that but it's like it's not really an adventure what he did I mean he wh <laughs> why doesn't he tell more and like and you know what like when when this uh, sequence would be over and you know what I also carried around like this tape reel from that cool series but let's see what happens next and I guess oh there's I guess he's an SFX guy yeah. I don't know how I know it but um um I guess there will be way more scenes of stages in this game because like this game obviously loves like dialogues to make pun uh, puns of uh, how you say like um, of, of movie stuff. Well, I guess it is called action Hollywood, so that kind of makes sense. I but, I totally agree. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised there's not really much beefy uh, advertisement. Uh, so far. I agree. Uh, there's not been too much too far, but I, I I would say there's gonna be like a cantina or like a shop where you can buy stuff and it's all over the place filled with beefy and you're gonna trade beefy with a boy outside. That's my suggestion right now. What will what will happen? <laughs> and and of of course there will be like a beefy TV spot. Oh and and. The main guy will star uh, will star in it. I, I I bet you like this will be like oh no the guy is sick who should do the recording. Oh who are you? Oh I'm the guy who brought in the script. Oh you're gonna be the next star. This will happen. I, I uh, okay <laughs> so yeah and there's an audio guy. He's an audio guy. My audio technician. I'd love to have that job. So I guess we. Talk to him. Uh, good day. Hello. So, what's up? Is this a recording studio? So many devices. Are you basically the the recording guy? What so shall we pick? <laughs> yeah. Um, I would say so many devices. Yeah, so many devices and gadgets and all. Yes, yeah, it's, it's all my pride. Mixer, equalizer, FX processors, and all in hi-fi stereo, 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 stereo. <laughs> and, uh, I almost thought he would say in Wi-Fi. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. What a lost chance. That would be so funny. <laughs> so we still got like this is a recording studio are you the uh, the recording guy and I got something for you yeah let's just give it to you yep. I got something for you well, for me this tape reel uh, thanks uh, where, where does it come from Crimped. yeah it's from Starship Enter. It's basically in, in German, it's Enter Hook, like the thing you'd use for jumping onto a onto a ship. So that's a pun. So it's basically playing back what happened, and he's going, Yeah, Mr. Spot. Star date. So, Captain. Yes! We got something on the screen. Oh, no, it's again. Ah, that should be the scene that is... Oh, they're like recording additional material. So it's like a retake. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. That, and that's it. Oh, well, well, well. One... Room. I don't know what Ras means, like the... Big omelette! <laughs> what? Knoil and current knurs. It's not a word. What's that supposed to mean? Oh no, the tape reel must have been. must have been like broken. What a pity. How am I supposed to bring that back into a working state? 
Uh, well, unless... Say, you've been to the set until they did the retake, right? They're talking about rehearsal, but the, it was actually filmed, so it doesn't make sense. If you could help me to reconstruct the dialogue... Oh, God. Oh, my God, no. I got all the voices in a database, and then I could... What could you do? The verb is missing? Like, this is... Oh, yeah, 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 I could do something with the tape reel. Oh, yeah, that, that should work. It will, of course, work faster than re-recording the whole thing. Are you gonna help me? Yeah, sure. Is this gonna be a dialogue puzzle? I have no idea. Yeah, of course, I'd love to. Oh, that's very nice of you. Uh, well, let's, uh... Here we go. Where are they? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Big omelette! Or a snowsuit omelette! What's that supposed to mean? Wait. Oh, it's like big object. So, oh, oh, I guess we gotta, we gotta re, re um. I don't know how this will help him, but. Okay, he's writing it down. It's like scribble, scribble, scribble. Well, okay, let's go on. Quallen and Knollen Gurus. What the? <laughs> but I guess we just have to identify what was it's said before. What that's supposed to mean? Ah, and uh, oh yeah, like the first is like a full on collision course, the f next is full on collision curve, and the uh, last one is full on. Um, Bulb. Yeah, it's like bulb flower. So, just the first one I think makes sense, like collision course. Yeah. Full collision course. <laughs> oh, uh, scribble, my scribble. Is so bad. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't worry, don't worry. Well, uh, let's go on. <laughs> From Oh, this is gonna be like uh, the the aliens, like the foreigners. Do you got any idea? And it's like uh, hunt, hunt the Freeman, and it's like the Freeman from the Dune universe. <laughs> Wear the uh, vest. No, no. What's uh, him again? Like shirt. Wear the shirts or uh, tell the foreigners, which he like basically like tell them to to f off. And this is a little, a, a bit of a weird puzzle to translate, cause it's like uh, you get a final words and yeah. Uh, okay, here we go. Come on, three is way enough for, for a puzzle like that. I will bridge a camera. I will bridge the. What's that supposed to mean? And let's see what makes any sense. I forget the Uh This. Oh, like the second one is like my device uh, is working. The third one is like a captain actually can. And the first one is, sounds like a proverb which doesn't exist. <laughs> I'm guessing it's the second. I would guess so too. Oh my god, this game is super weird. <laughs> oh, okay, so let's go on. Bean gigantic, which again it doesn't make sense that I translate something that is like a sound. What's that supposed to mean? Um, beans with rice? No, that's not it. But um, without uh, dry ice or without the cloaca? <laughs> what's what's cloaca? I, I gotta look it up. Cloaca is like I, I know genitalia of a bird. Yes, I know. Uh, but a cloaca in German uh, is sewer. <laughs> so if you have like cl a cloaking device and you're like, ah, oh, it's a cloaca device, it's like a sewer device. Ha ha ha. That is why they they uh, they disabled the sniffing sensor. So oh my God. funny German words. Hello. <laughs> so without that device. 
scribble, scribble, scribble. And yeah, and no, with a cloaca. It's because it's the same in German. Uh, to, to irritate us? It seems highly unlogical. Captain, look! Ah! Ah! <gasps> nice. It seems the rest is okay. Are you sure you understood all the dialogues correctly? Please say yes. Please say yes and be done. Please. Yes. 100%. Yes. I like his dedication. Oh, I can't say how happy I am that... Uh, how grateful I am. Hmm. Say... Could you do me another favor? Oh, how dare you. Yeah, it's like gonna be like a run around everything. Oh, yeah, sure. I got a small... Um, small note for the technical department by the way this guy is like uh, would you be the kind to drop it off there by the way the guy is like employed by a like bike messenger company and they're like this guy is gone for the whole day he shall deliver one thing and he's gone but just saying but perhaps he also gets money like by commission I don't know okay so we have really a message <laughs> Uh, so it says something, but I can't read it. Perhaps it's Italian. <laughs> okay. Technical department was on the first floor. Oh, uh, thank God you remember. To be honest, like I already <laughs> forgot. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, on the left. Technical department, and now it's open all of a sudden, right? No, it's still closed. Nope, we can't enter it. Hmm. Well, that's bad for the guy, I guess. It's like, well, can we go we tell him that we can't get him? I guess not. I wait, no, where was he? It was on the second floor. Oh, yes, right. second one, you're right. <laughs> so oh, he's gone. He's gone. Of course, he's gone. Well, I guess we gotta crawl off the building and like go to the next floor. Yeah. I guess, I guess it's number four. So, what do we have here? Another set? Yes. <laughs> Wait, before we go in, what's your guess what it's gonna be? Ah, oh, it's going way too fast. Uh, items. Oh, what are you like uh, filming here? Oh, no, a new new action scene with uh, uh, with Sly Sylvester. Oh my God! Oh, it looks mighty dangerous. Oh, it looks mighty impressive. Oh, it looks quite empty. Yeah, that's one. Okay, it looks quite empty. Well, uh, uh, Sly. Not very uh, convinced about the ending. His name was only mentioned 14 times. <laughs> uh, only 14 times? Uh, I I understand. Sly uh, uh, <laughs> Sly deserves 20 times at least. Or and uh, what is Sly's plan about that? <laughs> Uh, let's say he deserves 20 at least. <laughs> Alright. I'm wondering if anyone in, who is watching can, can actually still follow what's going on in this game. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm doing my best with the translation, but it, it, in general it does, just doesn't make sense. Yeah. Oh, he, he deserves at least 20 times. Yeah, he thinks so too. That's all he said, like, he thinks so too. Yeah. And, and what, uh, what's, what does... Okay, so what is Sly want to do about it? Well, he's uh, he's grumbling around again, like I don't know what's the word like. If you're like, if you keep to yourself and be like, mm -hmm. just grouchy, 
Yeah. I mean, that... Oh, you don't mean... Uh, you don't know what uh, what's uh, up if he's grumpy. He's really frightening then. Oh, I can imagine that. Probably he's gonna, like... Tear everything down and hit everything and break everything. Oh, if it's if it only were that. How far does he go? Like, what does he do? Oh, he goes way far uh, farther. He's uh, like um, not breathing anymore until he almost explodes. He's stomping <laughs> on the ground. He's Showing rolling his tantrum. eyes. <laughs> He's like tearing his hair up. Oh, disgusting! Oh my god! It's terrible! Terrible! Oh, you even haven't heard about terrible! You haven't heard the worst of it! He... 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 Really? Oh my god, that's horrible! Oh my... What? That's horrible! Until all... His, like, flesh and bones were totally torn apart. Uh-huh. So, was he at the doctor then? Yeah, of course. We tried everything. Even, oh my god, even some acid and, um... I don't know, like, even some acid and some other horrible stuff doesn't keep him from... Sucking his uh, thumbs until they're like totally uh, shrimpled up and they're like all soaked up. Oh my god, that's disgusting. So it can take hours until you're ready, right? Unfortunately, I'm just standing here around all day, nothing to do. And then we automatically go out. Yeah. Okay, so this is obviously a comeback later thing, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's horrible. I, uh, sorry, I can't really translate everything, like, literally. Because, like, yeah. some stuff, like, gets built up and then there's a turnaround and, like, I'm trying to bring the sense into it and not, like, to translate everything literally. Because it just doesn't I work. Think I think you're doing a pretty good job. At it. Thank you very much. That's very nice. So what do we have here? We have a cantina. I'm guessing it's beefy only cantina, like all day <laughs> yeah, <laughs> beefy salad and like, and the beefy oh. spot, of course. Oh my God, where shall we go? Yeah, we need to go into both these places. Let's go into the, into the cantina. Okay, cantina first. Oh, of course. Beefy. Oh my God. Finally, the beefy yeah. <laughs> promotion we've been waiting for. Yeah. There's, it's like, man? Mr. Spülberg. Oh my. This is really? Time. Really? It's not Spielberg, it's Spülberg. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Like basically, when you do the dishes, like the the act of doing it is spülen, oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. bag is just hill, so it's. Mm -hmm. And there's Granny Schröder. So Schröder is like a very common German name, and Oma is like Granny, or like mm -hmm. Grandma. Yes. So probably she's like working there in the cantina, and like everyone knows her, and like oh, it says uh, oh, there's called like posters, or like. Let's look at that. Pommes frites, fries. Mmm. Nice. Tasty. Tasty. Exactly. A baguette. <coughs> or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. depends on whatever you use schmatz for. So it can mean like uh, it can mean like a, a kissy sound, or also like if you eat something. Mm -hmm. A hamburger. Not bad. Sandwich? A sandwich. Well, well. That's a mighty healthy cantina. They offer fries, baguette, hamburger, a hamburger and, and, and then toast. Wow. <laughs> so, let's look at her. That's Granny Schroeder. 
I don't know how he knows her, but... Oh, I used to be her neighbor. No, she used to be our neighbor. She's a real... Uh, she's a real... Um, how do you say that? Like, if something is like... Oh, it's like really from the book. Like really... Um, very strict. No, 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 not very strict, but like... Um, if something is really perfect, like you order, like for example, you would order a burger and it looks like in the advertisement and you're like, holy moly, this burger really looks uh, uh, amazing. It it looks like it should be a poster or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like a picture, yeah. Yes, and there's this picture expression book. in German, it, it, it actually means like a picture book. It's usually things like kid, uh, a kids look into. And if you uh, say like mm -hmm. something is like a Bilderbuch, like picture book, something something then you mean it's like oh it's like it should be like the the perfect example of something like oh yeah le she's a perfect example of a grandma i think that i hope you can say that yeah <laughs> I get it. it reminds me of the the, the term Bildungsroman, or however you pronounce it yeah uh, what is it Roman or like those kinds of books that was it was a it was a classic uh, uh, literary genre uh, Bildungsroman yeah. I don't know for now but perhaps I'm... Yeah, but those were like those were like books about uh, the ideal ways to be raised or something like that ah okay 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 I get it like like how kids should be raised like, yeah 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 Something about long those lines. <laughs> it's been too long since I studied literature. So yeah. <laughs> but, uh, it was something like that. And it was also like building, and, and here it's like. Uh, yeah, yeah. Build it. Uh, so I, I figured it's like the, the similarity of, of talking about something perfect. Ah. Or how yeah, it's yeah. supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay, so I would say let, let's just talk to her. Ah, oh, hello! Lukas? Uh, Granny Schröder? Ah, oh, such a nice, pleasant surprise! <laughs> what are you... What are you doing up here in the studios? Well, I gotta do something important. Um, well, since... a very short time, I'm an actor. Or... <laughs> I have to deliver a script for the studio director. Let's say he's an actor. Okay. Ah, I'm an actor now. Ah, you're choking. <laughs> Your granny knows you far too well for that. Okay, you got me. I'm just doing some, some work in my school vacation and I'm like working at the bike career and I have to deliver this script. Deliver a script? Yeah. For uh, director Schlönstadt. But what are you doing in the studios? Well, I gotta... I gotta make more money. My pension is far too low. I know the guy up front, the security guy and his wife for many, many years. Ah, that's why I'm talking almost like him. We're in the same club. The talking was my thing. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, um, then uh, I gotta go. Please don't tell me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we gotta work, 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 work. But you won't come off that easy. Uh... She's sh searching for something. Here, you got a candy apple. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. I really love candied apples. How are they called? Like the sugar-coated candy apples. Yeah. You liked them when you were young. Ah, uh, you were. I, I had you over one afternoon when your parents were away. Do you remember the... Like the fairground with the big, big um, roller coasters. Oh yeah. And at lunchtime you had three of those apples. <laughs> mm, 
you little muncher. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, um, and I'm gonna give you something uh, hearty, something meaty. I don't know, like, how to translate that. So you don't, uh, don't eat only th eat that bad sweet stuff and stuff it in your mouth. But Granny Schroeder. No, no, no. Don't be so, uh, don't be like that, my boy, and let me help you a little bit. Bring you some joy. I got all those in the product <laughs> name here. Finally. Mmm, tasty. And I got this other product name here. Oh my god. And this third product name. And the fourth and fifth thing they were advertising at the time, which I won't mention. Mmm. What do I choose? It's really hard to pick. But I'm gonna take the newest product inserted here. Here you go, Lucas! Thank you, Granny Schroeder. Well, but, but, um... And now be on your merry way! <laughs> to, to hand in the script on time, right? Yeah, of course. Bye, Granny Schroeder. Bye, my boy. And uh, say hello to your parents. Oh, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> oh my god. So we got a candy apple. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so we got here uh, the German equivalent of Monsieur Spielbergo and just a guy labeled man. <laughs> Joe Quinn is asking, is that Luigi? That was my first reaction when, when the screen was up. I'm like, what, what is this Luigi? Does he have a, a mustache or a, like a full beard? Or what I suggest is like he, he has like all the beard up here, but like no chin beard. But I'm not entirely certain. I think when I was too small for me to be able to Distinguish. Yeah, it's it's too small for me as well, so I don't know. But it does kind of look like he's got a beard with no chin. Yeah, I'm I'm not entirely certain. Wow. What a talk. <laughs> so let's talk to him. Why <laughs> Luigi? Uh, sorry. Yeah. So, uh, okay, in German he actually says yeah, but yeah, it's just like yes. Aren't you Stefan Spielberg? Stefan Spielberg? It's like, ah, 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 oh my god. Could you give me an autogram? Uh, like, uh, no, in, 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 ah, th this is a false brand. It's not actually called that, like, uh, like that in English. Could you give me a, like a, uh, sorry, what did you say? A? Autograph. Yes, an autograph. Uh, or can I, like, interrupt you for a moment? Aren't you Stefan Spielberg? Yeah, it's me! Uh, well, I'm a big fan of your movies. Come drop, drop some stupid names. Could I get an autograph from you? Yeah, but um, uh, here you go. Thank you. See, he's making his new movie, Triple X. <laughs> oh, I know someone who will love to trade for that. I bet you. Oh, oh, yeah. The kid, maybe. Yeah. So, and let's talk to the guy who's just a little guy or man. I don't want to interrupt him. So, I guess that's it. Yeah. Um, and I gotta say, I think this is a good closing point for tonight. Yes. Because we were gonna not go over time and we've been going for nearly two hours. Mm -hmm. And we've shown a bit of this game already. And I think it would be nice to uh, keep going next uh, next week or whenever we can stream mm -hmm. it. Of course. Showing more of this game, maybe finish yep. it. 
So yeah, I think this is a good place to, to end for today. I 100% agree. The only thing is I don't know how to save. Uh, I would dare propose you press the escape key or something. Yeah, I tried that before, so let's try the F keys. Which one should I go first? I, I'm gonna go with F5, let's see, no, F1, F2, F3, 5, 6, 7, I hope you something close to <laughs> yeah, okay, they all do nothing, nothing at all, nothing at all, nothing at all, uh, enter, and if not, I'm gonna basically have to find out. Like mouse over the top of the window. Yeah. To no. No, mm. there's nothing there. Yeah. Mm. Mm. We did have like an options menu at the at, at the start, the start of the game. Yeah, I yeah. agree. I haven't seen anything like that since. Let's see. Uh, Any uh, other uh, button on the keyboard or something? The, the, oh, the you can control it by a keyboard. For, for save? What's the German word for save? Speichern. Nope. I would assume there's a save option. Uh, there is. I mean, we've seen it, and uh, yeah, yeah, you could continue. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, I'm, I'm basically. Oh, there's a loudspeaker. Let's just look oh. for that. Well, it's a normal speaker, I guess. I guess it's like used later on in the game too for something. Uh, but uh, well, I'm gonna find out. So this won't be the main concern of the stream today anymore, I would say. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks uh, to everyone for watching our Euro Trash Takeover yes. stream, <laughs> where we <laughs> check out some beefy games and primarily beefy two action in Hollywood. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we talked about this at the start of the stream. Uh, beefy is a uh, European. German sausage brand uh. and apparently in the 90s they made these promotional games which are a bit over the top and uh, <laughs> just a little bit advertisement and uh, I've been surprised with the with the pop culture references in this mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. Star Trek and, and uh, yeah. Silver so yeah. and such so that's been pretty cool to be honest but yeah, uh, yeah I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more of it so I hope we can stream again next week or so. I think so. I, I, I should be available next week. And I hope we, uh, well, the people who watched the, the stream today with us uh, will come back next time to see more beefy action. Ah, Tanikutsuno, Kitsune is just saying hi in chat. But, uh, hey! The stream, Tanikutsuno. Uh, but you can always watch the bottom of course and watch the next uh, your trash takeover stream next week so yeah thanks for stopping by everyone and uh, see you next week with more beefy yeah. action bye bye